Hi everyone, Mia here. One thing that adds polish and professionalism to a project is proper spacing and alignment on a page. And Photoshop makes it really easy to take the guesswork out of that stuff with the rulers and smart guide systems. I'm going to quickly show you how to make sure everything on your next project is aligned properly. First, I'm going to go ahead and create a document. And I'm just going to fill it with black so that you can see our guidelines a little easier. If you already have smart guides and rulers turned on, then you'll see a ruler up here under your options bar and one over here next to your toolbar. If you don't see them, just hit command R. That's the shortcut to bring them up and put them away. You can choose what type of measurement you see on these rulers by right clicking on the ruler and choosing an option from the drop down menu. I tend to work mostly in inches. When you're working on something where alignment is key, Let's say you know that you want your graphics about one inch from the document's edge. Having this ruler can really help you see right where about an inch is. But to get it exact, you will want to turn on what's called a guide. Guides are like imaginary boundaries that you can only see on your screen. They won't print on your finished document. For example, we'll go up to view and then select new guide. You'll see a window appear for the settings. So in our case, if we want a marker one inch in, I would go next to position and type 1IN for inch. Then make sure that vertical is clicked because I want the line to run vertical and hit OK. There's my first guide. Now I can line up a graphic or image right against that guide and know that it's exact. And even if you have your ruler set to a different unit like pixels, you can still set up your guides based on other measurements. Another easy way to make a guide is to just pull it right out of the ruler itself. Click on the ruler and pull either to the right or down from the top and you can set up a guide that way. It's just not as accurate. If you want to clear them all out and start over with a new set of guides on the same project, then just go up under view and choose clear guides down near the bottom. Now if you're creating a series of guides that you know you'll want to use over and over again, try going to view and choose new guide overlay. A window will pop up that will allow you to either choose an existing guide preset or create a custom one and save it. Let's try custom. And here you can create a series of guides by columns and rows. The gutter here, that's this space in between your columns. That's what gutter means. So instead of creating these guides one by one, you can very quickly create an entire layout in just one place, then save it as a preset and use it again. Now let's talk about smart guides. This is something a little bit different. These are turned on by default and you can make sure by going under the view tab and then down to show and you can see that they're checked right here. This is also where you'd go if you want to turn them off by the way. They can be incredibly helpful when you're aligning several elements on a page with each other. Let me use the rectangle tool and just draw a few shapes here. You can imagine that these are graphics that you'd like to lay out on a page. So if I use my move tool, that's shortcut V, and command click on a square to choose it, now I can drag it around. And as I do that, then you'll see the magenta line pop up to show me when this square is aligned with the left edge of this square. You can also see where it's aligned with the exact center of the square and with the right edge of the square. It's also starting to show me where it's aligned with the third square. So you can see how easy it is to use these intuitive guides to help you work with several elements on a page to create something clean and polished.